Welcome to Home Safety Hotline. Now, if you're listening to this, I'm still a little sick. Oh God, another desktop. Okay. This is uh, fake desktops are all the rage these days. We are pleased to have you aboard as our brand new home safety hotline responder role. Your supervisor's name is Carol Regina. She will be calling you today to brief you on your duties. You'll be reviewing your, will be reviewing your daily work or work daily to ensure maximum accuracy. I swear I know how to read. I just, my brain did not process that properly for a minute there. Attention call team, due to an error with our archival network, some of you may notice video files from our video archive appearing on your desktop. Please disregard these. They will be cleared up in due time. Huh. Yeah, I guess so. House fires, flooding, sure. Black mold, yeah, moldello. Metamorphosis, I know about that. Don't, what, uh, metamorphosis? Hmm. Oh, that actually opens a Discord. Yeah, this is a good <coughs> This is a good resolution. <laughs> Why are you laughing at my misfortunes, chat? To begin shift, please clock in below. It's that damn mold. Um, so there's some entries here. We can take a look. Let's let's see. We got bed bugs. Oh, we don't want those. They feed on the blood of humans and other mammals. Their tendency to inhabit sleeping areas or of the home. Oh. Welcome to Home Safety Hotline, new employee. My name is Carol, and I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Thanks, Carol. Oh, great, right. There's bed bugs. Bees. Great. Bees are a small matriarchal flying insect known to build large hive structures in high places, often in trees, attics, or roofs. They obey their queen. The queen. John here. My wife insisted I call this number. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. Is this an Australian doing an American accent? Dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coughing to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. <laughs> um, infestation. Specks of dirt. Please hold. Please hold. I'm going to say it's black mold. It's not immediately dangerous to humans, but enough of it can cause damage to household integrity, making it a long-term danger. It's probably mold. Good luck. Good luck. There's no time limit, so read. 
Could it be carpenter ants? Hi, I'm so sorry. My name is Grace, and it's probably nothing, but I thought I'd call just in case. Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds kind of like... You know, it, it's probably nothing. I'm sure it could just be regular old house noises, but I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. Hmm. I, um... Hmm. Please hold. Mice. I think it's mice. So, there's an annoying little sound coming from the attic. Okay. Mice are small, worthless rodents commonly found in the household. Worthless. Homeowners with a mice infestation commonly report gnaw marks, small round droppings, and the sounds of squeaking. I don't know if they're worthless. <clears throat> I like them. There's no bats. There's no entry for bats. Mice are capable of carrying any number of diseases, so they serve as an indirect danger to most humans and should be dealt with immediately. Vinny, as a New Yorker, you're telling me you like this nasty ass rats. <laughs> no, I like mice. I don't I'm not as crazy about rats. But uh is this like a different thing? They're look, it's cute. It's cute. They're smaller. A New York City disgusting like rat is a little different. I think. Mice carry more diseases. Oh, shit. Hank here. Last week I called your guys about some crap in my yard. I was told wasn't anything to worry about. Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. <laughs> you better not tell me it's nothing again, because I know I've seen something moving out there. Tell me what it is so I can take care of it once and for all. Tell me what it is. Please. <clears throat> I'm going to guess termites because they create those piles, no? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. What am I saying? Hang on. Mole. Moles are small, dark brown furry mammals with pointed pink muzzles. They are known for living in deep burrows. Their burrows tend to look like volcano-shaped mounds. They are known to eat insects. Moles are capable of biting humans and spreading deadly diseases such as rabies, so caution around them is advised. They also have close relations to the ones beneath the soil, which can cause further danger if provoked. What do you mean, the ones beneath the soil? Moles are persistent and cannot usually be persuaded to leave on their own. However, moles can be trapped and removed manually using a variety of common humane mammal traps. Warning, never kill a mole. It could be, but gopher, hang on, gopher. Probably mole. Let me just check gopher. Gophers are small brown furry mammals with enlarged front teeth that are known for living in burrows. They can become a pest to homeowners when they choose to burrow on their property, commonly damaging gardens. Gophers are capable of biting humans and spreading diseases such as rabies, so caution around them is advised. Do not attempt to approach a gopher directly. Uh, it's moles. You got moles. I hate these motherfuckers. This, I truly, well and truly fear. John. 
on here again. I got beef with you. Your people gave me bad info. What you sent us didn't have anything to do with our problem. I'll be sure to tell our friends not to be bother calling. Not to be bother calling? You mean it wasn't moles? Um, <clears throat> looks like moles to me. That was the mold guy? Oh. Oh. Moles, mold, same thing. I mean, it's, it seemed like black mold. Uh, Twig segment here. Just it's great face. Okay. Been running wild, wild over here. Hey, do you guys have a lawn mowing service or something? My good for nothing kid refuses to mow and it's getting real crazy out there. Looking like a rainforest over here. My kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. Stress of this stupid lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about it. Can you guys can you send some guys up to get this done? What are you talking about? We don't, we don't, huh? Please hold. Uh, chat. Boop. My kid's complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Does your... Did your kid get bit by a tick? Ticks are very small arachnid known to feed on human or animal blood are most commonly found in tall grass. They latch onto their hosts, often unseen, and burrow their head into the flesh of their victim. Hosts will often report symptoms such as illness, such as uh, of illness, such as fevers, headaches, and chills. Yeah. I think your son has contracted a tick. And there's only the fire is the only way. I'm sorry to say this, but fire is the only way to kill them. Your shift has ended. Okay, time to play Minesweeper. Quit before it's too late. You don't know me, but I used to have your job. You are in danger. Quit today before it's too late. You don't know enough. It's not too late to quit freely. Trust me. Oh. No, no, I've got, I've got work to do. I've got, I've got work to do. Some random emails, just like, no, just quit your job. I don't even know how to write words. I'll just spell everything war wrong. Quit your job. Yeah, sure. No, there they are. Well, I wonder if we're going to see house centipedes at any point. is confidential and not to be shared with anyone outside of HSH. If you diagnose one of these hazards, we will be providing only information to the clients that is pertinent to addressing their concerns. Nothing more. Thank you. Hmm. 
bat. Uh, bad teeth. Oh, okay. That's a type of fungus. Carbon monoxide cellar growths. False beat. Oh, wait, wait, what? <laughs> Stop sneezing. In the past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. Please hold. Could it be a desk hob? Oh, probably not. These are real and normal things. I, I believe them to be real and normal. Uh. Hmm. Stair slug. Hmm, probably not a stair slug. Maybe it's a fracture hob? No. I've had a couple fracture hobs in, in my day and they've never gunked up the ventilation. I don't think it would be carbon monoxide. Something wrong with ventilation. Oh, it's bed teeth. I thought it said bad teeth. Uh, frozen pipes, house fires. I don't know, chat. I mold is the the best idea. I think it could be black mold. Pipe. Well, the pipe hob is pipes and not vents. Pipe hobs are a subspecies of hob that are known for making homes inside tube-like structures such as pipes. They bear no false face. They are much smaller than most hobs. They will commonly emerge from their home at night and consume any dirt, grime, and hair in the surrounding area, cleaning, up and cleaning it in the process. Yeah, that doesn't sound like that. I think it would be nice to have a pipe hob. Allergic reactions or breathing problems. I'm going to say it's mold. I was hesitant because the mold issue, I failed with mold earlier, but I'm going to say it's mold. Definitely a, a, a duende. Please hold. Hmm. What about a common hob? Common hobs are the most common species of hob found in the household. They are small humanoid creatures with gray burlap-like skin and small vertical tufts of hair on their head. They have no false face. They are known for their tendency to consume dust, dirt, and common sticky, sticky substances found on floors and dishes, cleaning them in the process. They generally only come out at night. Hobs are not dangerous to humans on their own. If provoked, however, they are capable of mischievous acts, such as metamorphosis. Hobs cannot be compelled to leave on their own once nested in a home. Instead, one should take measures to prevent provoking metamorphosis by leaving out a bowl of cream or milk at night.
Uh, it sounds like a common hob. A desk hob? I don't know. I'm a little iffy on that because this is not living room related. They inhabit desk uh, vanities and other similar structures. They're regularly like they regularly like to tidy their homes and will frequently sort and order materials in the desk to their liking. They are physically similar to other hobs, but are generally much smaller and have raspy, loose hair. They do not bear a false face. I don't know what that means, but the false face thing. Um, they clean their desk hobs. They, okay, well, they tidy their homes. Yeah, the desk hobs do tidy homes. These ones don't clean homes. Oh, wait, yeah, well, no, they do a little bit. They consume dust, dirt, and common sticky substances found on floors and dishes, cleaning them. This just cleans homes. These tidy their homes, which is to say they inhabit desks. So those are their homes. However, the common hob will clean many other things. I'm going to say common hob. This is a weird night. Are there any common hobs in the chat? How about rare hobs? Yo, Buzz Goober here. <laughs> Been having a heck of a time over here. I got these snappers itching and open and crying all over. Just all over the place I got these whippersnappers yelping and whining and I can't get a wink of sleep. She's trying to lay down over here. What you gonna do about all this? I've called about 5,500 times and y'all haven't done a thing about it. <laughs> so I will help, help you. Help please, please, please wait. Please, please hold. hold. Thank, thank you. Thank Oh, actually, there was no holding. That was the whole call. That was it. He just hung up. I like that guy. He's a nice fellow. I, I don't know what's going on inside my house. I hear something crawling in the walls. I think I found teeth marks on my bedposts. I can't sleep at night knowing there's something in my house. Help me, please. <laughs> Teeth marks on the bedposts. Please hold. Crawling in the walls. Uh... Bed teeth? I don't think it's bed teeth. This is scratching or flapping. Teeth marks found on the bed posts. Let's see, maybe it is bed teeth. They're a rare kind of household fungus known for growing in small cone-like shapes on the underside of bed sheets, blankets, or comforters. Homeowners infested with bed teeth often report mild discomforts when sleeping, such as tickling or itching. More rarely, slimy, acidic residue on their skin. That's not it. Teeth marks. Uh. Could be mice. 
gnaw marks, sounds of squeaking. They're in the walls. I've been crawling in the walls. I found teeth marks on my bed. Huh. Raccoon? They rummage through garbage cans or nest in attics. Uh, homeowners infested with raccoons often report frequent garbage spills or clattering sounds at night. Raccoons are capable of biting humans and spreading deadly diseases such as rabies. I don't think they're going to be biting the bed and they're like massive. What are they doing in a wall? Termites. Killing paint, small holes in the drywall. This is a structural integrity thing. Termites don't make noise. They don't have teeth. They, well, they do, but like they have like mandibles, right? Moles and gophers are outside. I'm going to go for mice. Trust me, more than anything, I want there to be a stair slug. She's going to call back and be like, you fucking drongo. Dude, is it mice again? Please hold it. Hearing about a noise I've been hearing in my house. Sounds like scratching. Okay, it's not the bat. It's definitely a house fire. Try wall dad? What do you mean wall dad? Uh, carpenter ants are small insects known for nesting inside of wood. Homeowners infested with these pests sometimes report a faint rustling sound coming from their walls as ants build their nests. That sounds about right. Could be ants. real quiet oh a trap went off though hmm I don't know I might have got the wrong one he said scratching not rustling oops it's It's not Bob, it's Hob. It's a desk hob. Please hold it. They sort and order materials in the desk to their liking. Hmm, maybe not. Going through my papers. Well, maybe. Taunting me with your organizational skills. Yeah, it, it sounds about right. Yep. 
I feel good about that answer. What would you call the poison monoxide guy over someone breaking into your house? <laughs> the poison monoxide guy. So this just appeared. $84,000. Jesus. If that was New York, that would be 450000 That would be... Oh, well, that would be a million, almost. The previous one, actually closer to five hundred or six hundred. This would be a million. This would be 1.5 million. Community alert. A civil authority has issued a missing persons alert. It was Bob. Described to be approximately six feet tall, barefoot, wearing a large bush or shrub on their person. Last seen at approximately 10.25 a.m. Please report any unusual activity to your local authorities. Well, they probably live here if they're wearing a bush on their person. It's like a fucking cartoon. But, like, I think of, like, a cartoon that has to wear a bush because they're naked. They gave you access to more info, didn't they? I warned you, if you end up like me, join me in this hole. They haven't found me yet. It's safe here. <laughs> Wow. Attention call team. Our network team is migrating our backend services over to a new hosting provider this week. So you may experience some occasional network errors over the next few days. Please be sure you are studying your information entries clear, uh, carefully while you still have access in case the network goes down while you're on the phone with a client. You will still be expected to provide accurate answers to our callers regardless of the network status. Congratulations, employee. Your high accuracy rate has awarded you today's daily coupon. Today's daily coupon is for used horseshoe. Our stock of used horseshoes are as reliable as they are rusty. 90% of our supply are verifiably forged from real iron. Supplies run out quickly, so stock up while well, you still can. To receive your discount, simply type the following code during your online checkout. A great deal for sure. Oh. Maybe, like, you have to order that to keep you safe from, like, one of the uh, duendes. I don't know. That's what chat's saying. Oh, that's just do windy. No, no, no. Hello, Roger Carol here again. We've updated your permissions. You should now have access to more extensive information to work with for your future calls. Please be sure to read these new entries carefully so you can continue providing our clients with accurate diagnoses. Please remember that this information is strictly confidential and not to be shared with anyone unless pertinent to a caller's needs. Thank you. Thanks, Carol. By the way, chat, the next card sauce may be the best one ever. 
I'm waiting for the carts to arrive. I'm just saying. There's something in the basement. I've seen it. It's huge, almost as big as my dog. It doesn't hiss or growl or anything, but I haven't gotten close enough to it to find out what it is since it's always just lurking out of sight from the top of the stairs. I need someone to come get this thing out of my basement as soon as possible. I've locked the door since I can still hear the steps creaking under its weight down there. I know what that is. That is the stair slug. Please However, call. what the fuck is a Bogart? Bogarts is the general term for a metamorphosed, metamorphosized hob. They're large, hairy humanoids between six to seven feet tall and bear fairly convincing false faces. They are known for causing household accidents such as flooding, fires, or electric outages. They're also frequently... They are also... Sorry, they also frequently observe their targets while they sleep. Bogarts are extremely dangerous to humans and pets due to their malicious nightly household activities, which can cause injury or death. They also react very violently when they are seen by humans, but thankfully these instances are rare as they excel at staying hidden. Do not, under any circumstances, refer to an active Bogart by any name. Once you become aware of its presence, simply vacate the premises. Provided you do not speak of the Bogart at any time in any fashion, it will remain in its original location. False Artifact False artifacts are seemingly human-designed objects that can manifest suddenly inside a home. They are known for making gentle buzzing sounds that can usually only be heard by very young human children or small animals. Homeowners with false artifacts often report out-of-place objects or missing children or pets. False artifacts, while not a direct threat to adult humans, can pose a significant risk, risk <laughs> to small human children and animals. Should a child or pet be left alone with a false artifact, they are at risk of being encased within. Once encased, no noise made by the prey can be heard, while digestion can take upwards of several years to complete. Starvation can be a more pressing concern. Once a false artifact has been identified, removal is as simple as physically moving the object out of one's home. HSH Pest Removal Services should be called to come and remove the object. Should a pet or loved one already be encased within, one can utilize a memory wisp to speed up the grieving process. <laughs> oh my god. Of course, the day that I end up playing a game where I have to read a bunch of shit is the day I'm sick and have a ton of congestion. Incorrect sample. Anyway, let's um let's just keep doing our thing. It's definitely a stair slug. Stair slugs are large dog-sized slugs that are commonly known to occupy stairwells and basements. Homeowners infested with stair slugs commonly report a slimy residue on the steps or other household inclines. Stair slugs can be beneficial to a household as they frequently feed on other pests such as mice and hobs. But the slimy residue they leave behind can lead to dangerous accidents and slippage if not cleaned up properly after. Should you wish to remove a stair slug from the household, one can simply surround the affected stairway with a thick barrier of salt. Do not attempt to apply salt directly. After the slug has dehydrated itself, you can dispose of its body. This guy's been on hold forever. Vinny wrong. He didn't mention slime. Oh, fuck. Hey, uh, I've been hearing some really weird noises coming from the bathroom faucet recently. I'm not sure what it could mean. It just makes this nasty sound anytime I run it, along with this uh, nasty smell. 
please. Hold. Maybe a pipe hob. But this is a toilet hob. Hang on. Toilet hobs are a subspecies of hob that are known for homing inside toilets. Skibbity. They bear false faces and have two separate clumps of wispy hair on each side of their heads. Like most hobs, they tend to clean their homes when they are active at night, keeping the toilets they inhabit nearly spotless. Toilet hobs are not dangerous on their own, Skibbity. but their physical presence within the toilet they inhabit may result in plumbing problems over time, such as leaks or clogs. Like any other hob, they are also capable of metamorphosing. Skibbity. Toilet hobs cannot be removed once they nest. To prevent further damage, measures to prevent metamorphosis should be taken as soon as possible. It is advised to leave an egg near the toilet each night before going to bed. Skibati! Yeah, just put an egg down. Yeah. Get an egg. Get an egg in there. Anyway, pipe hob. They consume dirt, grime, and hair. Uh, we don't know if they smell, but I'm going to imagine they do. Could be pipe growth. He said sink. I don't know. Weird noises coming from the faucet. Nasty sound anytime I run it along with nasty smell. Frozen pipes. Strange faucet smells banging and whistling. That's got to be the one. But it's a faucet. Yeah, it's it's a it, pipes can go to the faucets. Strange faucet smells. My wife, I can't. Played. It's gone. It's gone. My wife, I can't see her face. I can't see her face. You need a memory wisp. Please hold. Please hold. Memory wisp. Memory wisps are invisible and odorless household wisps that are known for removing memories from the home and its ho homeowners. Homeowners infested with memory wisps will also often report missing pictures, photo albums, and the inability to remember the faces of loved ones. Memory wisps are not a danger to the physical health of humans. However, their ability to affect human memory can sometimes lead to household accidents or reckless activity. Memory wisps will move out of the house on their own once they have stolen away the inhabitants' memories. There is no need for further action. Yeah, that's... I think we just... Just go... Yeah, get one. Just go get one. This is good advice, I believe. Mirror nymph. Mirror nymphs are a subspecies of nymph that are known for stealing the likeness of homeowners and passerby. Hey, yeah, your name's Fred Pinball. Oh my I'm God! Calling to lodge a complaint against your place of business. I have never seen such a big old mess left up behind up. by your pest control. Tons of twigs, sticks, and 
pimples, so I ain't putting up with it no more. I got sawdust coming out of my drawers <laughs> here. I had to grab you by the goober and smack you around till next Sunday. Now, <laughs> what you gonna do? What you gonna do to make this right? <laughs> Very good call. Thank you. They're generally small, faceless, and voiceless humanoids carrying large mirror that they beckon others to look into. Homeowners affected by mirror nymphs commonly report not being able to recognize their own face. They're not a direct danger, though. Uh, hi? I, uh, have no idea what's happening. My sheets are growing nasty, sharp things on them, and my legs itch like crazy. Do I need to be showering more often or something? I usually shower like once a week for my skin health, so maybe that's it? Bed teeth. Please hold. Once a week? Once a week, huh? Ooh. Oh shit, there's a network error. Not good. Bed teeth are easy enough. However, chat member, you should probably shower more than once a week. That's why you gotta check the entries. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> let's read the entries now. So this is a false rose bush. All right, false rose bushes are large plant-like creatures that are commonly, most commonly take on the appearance of a red rose bush. In place of roots, these creatures have two small humanoid feet that they use to chase <laughs> down prey. I just saw the feet. Homeowners with false rose bushes sometimes report missing pets or children. False rose bushes pose incredible dangers to homeowners with children or pets as their diet consists of small mammals. And they are known to be fast and efficient hunters. Homeowners without children or pets face a reduced risk as they cannot swallow whole anything larger than themselves. To remove one from a garden they have inhabited it is advised to keep children or pets from venturing outside within its hunting range for an extended period. If a false rose bush goes more than one month without eating, it will move on to a new territory on its own. What about fire? A lamp sprite. Lamp sprites are a common subspecies of sprite that makes their homes inside lamp fixtures. They are known for causing the lamps they inhabit to flicker or burn hotter, sometimes causing a burning smell in the home. Lamp sprites are not dangerous to humans unless provoked. Do not, under any circumstances, turn off the lamp or attempt to reach your hand inside the lamp when actively inhabited. Lamp sprites will leave on their own once their lamp of choice goes out on its own. At this point, they will attempt to seek out a new lamp. To prevent a lamp sprite from rehoming itself, ensure all household lamps are turned off until the expiration period. When the lamp sprite fails to find an active lamp, it will leave the home on its own. Just turn off the fucking power. Tea sprite. Tea sprites are a small a subspecies of sprite that are known to feed off of tea and tea leaf residue. 
Homeowners infested with tea sprites commonly report leaf-like droppings and sounds of fluttering near kitchens. Tea sprites are not directly dangerous to humans, but they are known to spread various deadly diseases, including the fatal fey flu, should be removed as soon as possible. Tea sprites can be removed with various common household pesticides and traps, provided they are baited with tea leaves. To avoid future infestations, be sure to always clean teacups, kettles, and mugs after use. Unicorn fungi. Oh my god. The poor dog. Unicorn fungi are a rare horn-shaped fungus that are known to grow in the heads of furry mammals and household pets. They often affect the animal's disposition, causing them to be drawn to the soil. Homeowners often report their pets furiously digging around or inside their home. Unicorn fungi are not directly harmful to humans, but they can often lead to other household problems, such as broken floorboards, uprooted plants, or waking up other things beneath the soil. Unicorn fungi will go away after a few months on its own without treatment, but can also be treated with cryotherapy or removed surgically if removal needs expediting. To prevent unicorn fungi from developing, regularly bathe your pet, especially after any outdoor activities. Other things? Whistling fungi. <laughs> I want those in my home. That sounds great. Whistling fungi are small mushroom-like growths with many small holes in their caps that frequently grow through the drywall gaps and cracks. Homeowners infested with whistling fungi often report a dissonant whistling sound coming from their walls. Warning, if you ever hear whistling fungi singing in harmony, evacuate your home immediately. Oh my God. Whistling fungi are rarely dangerous to humans, but their growth can cause foundational problems. If whistling fungi ever sing in harmony, evacuate your home immediately and do not return for any reason. Otherwise, whistling fungi can be removed with common weed killers utilizing HSH's fungi removal service. To prevent whistling fungi infestation, ensure there are no open cracks in your home. I like how it's not telling you why. Wine Sprite. Wine sprites are a subspecies of sprite that are known for consuming wine. They're small, large-eyed, winged creatures with translucent skin that often appear red when they are feeding. They have a long proboscis that they use to drink. Homeowners infested with wine sprites commonly report broken glasses and their wine having a rotten taste and smell. Wine sprites are not directly dangerous to humans, but they are known to spread various deadly diseases, including the fatal fey flu, should be removed as soon as possible. Rotten taste. Wine sprites can be removed with various common household pesticides and traps, provided they are baited with wine to avoid future infestations. Be sure to always clean wine glasses and containers immediately after use. And don't forget to wash your foreskin. Wood secretions. Wood secretions are a pink viscous liquid substance that can sometimes form from wood that has been mistreated. It is known to drip from wooden materials such as furniture or walls, causing a sticky cooling buildup. Danger. Wood secretions can be deadly to humans, causing a rapid translation of flesh if ingested. Keep animals and human children away from the secretions at all costs, as its foul odor will be interpreted as a sweet candy-like smell to them, making them particularly susceptible to accidental ingestion. Once started, wood secretions will continue indefinitely. To remove the hazard from a home, the offending wood should be replaced entirely. To prevent wood from entering the secretion stage, ensure uh, good care is taken towards the wood in the house. Do you respect wood? Refrain from scratching, knocking, banging wood surfaces. Do not ever insult or shout at wood. Gotta have respect for the wood. That is a great noise. Um, so yeah, chat, I don't really know. We've read all this stuff. That's good. Now I know. Now I know what it is. I'm looking for, I mean, is it termites maybe? There's some cracks. Um, maybe it's the unicorn. Uh, 
furry mammals and household pets. Furiously digging around or inside their homes. No. Uh, someone said fracture hob. Fracture hobs are subspecies known to cause cracks and fractures in the walls. Physically similar to other hobs. I think it's hob. Yeah, that fracture hob. Because... Yeah, the cat's not doing that. And these hobs are small, so it's got to be that. We're going with it. Whether or not she believes that that's a real thing, that's on her. But rotten. Vinny got that one wrong. It's termites. Fracture hobs don't mention peeling paint. Ah, oh, fuck. Does the game tell you if you're correct? Not really. Sometimes tells you if you're wrong. Do you think this is some kind of joke? Last week, I called you guys about some weird noises I had coming from my living room. And the info package See? you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream? <laughs> what kind of joke is that? It's been a week now that I've been dealing with this racket, no thanks to you, and now we're starting to have power outages. Your employee's stupid joke is now probably going to cost me who knows how much in repair costs. So talk to your manager and tell them they owe me big time. You figure out what's going on in my house, and you figure it out now! Shit. Please hold Weird noises from the living room. The people uh, were saying it's a Bogart. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. It's a hob that transformed. He didn't leave milk out. Idiot didn't listen. Now he has a Bogart. Um, electrical outage. Now, yeah, power outages. He didn't leave the milk out, so the hob turned into a Bogart. Oh, he's fucked. He's gonna call back, and he's gonna be he's gonna be fucking like, it, it, he's just gonna die. He's gonna die on the phone. He's going to say Bogart and then game over. I had a Bogart once. It was a sleep paralysis demon. Science mysteries. The best graphics 1996 has to offer. Are mice that mysterious? Mice, one of humanity's oldest friends and oldest enemies. From the Black Plague to the shelves of our pet stores, mice have lived alongside humans for centuries. And just like humans, Mice may even be evolving alongside us as well. It's all them damn experiments we do this on them. Is a mus musculus, otherwise known as the common house mouse. You'll be playing Counter Strike soon. And this is Mus Musculus Loquentis, otherwise known as the Smart Mouse, a newly discovered species known for its uniquely colored iris, and more importantly, its increased intelligence. Mice have brains smaller than peanuts, and yet 
modern science has observed they are capable of thinking quite intelligently. And in the case of the smart mouse, perhaps even capable of communication. That's about the size of my brain. It's somewhere the around there. Modern computer technology. Today's scientists have been it's able not to that interpret big. the previously indecipherable squeaks of a smart mouse and have discovered what seems to be hidden messages within. Let's take a listen. Father. What do you think? I don't know about that. wonder of evolution? Or are we just hearing things that aren't there? Do mice and men have more in common than previously thought? Well, I suppose that's what makes this a science mystery. Reminds me of the shows I used to watch on like the sci-fi channel about like weird shit and UFOs and stuff. Hello, Home Safety Hotline family. We're excited to introduce to all of you our new office pet, Whiskers. Whiskers is loyal, friendly, and is as serious as about pest control as we are. Please give Whiskers a warm welcome if you see him wander by your desk. Note, please refrain from picking up or feeding Whiskers, as he is still getting to know everyone in the office and has scheduled feeding times. I like Whiskers. What if, though, like, okay, what if I'm working at an office and they hire a cat, but I'm allergic to cats? I am allergic to cats, so what do I do? I don't not want to see Whiskers. Do I get a raise? I get fired. Oh. Then he, a customer had the same pet. Wait a minute. Wasn't that her name? The, the, wait, 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 wait. Someone called and said she had a pet named Whiskers. Oh, shit. Vinny, I think 50% of cats are named Whiskers. No, that can't be true. Some of them are named Frisky. Mittens. Skittles. Hello. Supervisor Carol here again. I've been watching the closely employee. I'm impressed so far by your dedication to accuracy. I have once again updated your permission so you should have access to more extensive household hazard information. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest upon thee. Our eyes rest upon thee? That's it sounds an awful lot like um something like a, an eldritch creature would say. Well, that's cool. I think the map is something wrong with her faucet. Recently, I've been having the worst kind of stomach bug, just aches and pains constantly. But after a month, it still hasn't gone away, and I'm thinking there's got to be something wrong with the water, because we only eat fresh, homegrown fruits and vegetables here, and we ain't ever had any problems up until now. I keep hearing things about rusted pipes and water poisoning and all kinds of terrible things that can happen to the water. So, can you just send someone out to get this fix for us? Hell, I don't know, Dutch. It could be a false beat. Please hold. Attic gnome. Attic gnomes are a subspecies of gnome. Known to nest in attics and ceilings. Homeowners infested with attic gnomes will often report a knocking or rapping sound coming from their ceilings. Hey, homies, it's me, the attic gnome. All right, check it. The surplus of dust coming out of their ventilation systems. Attic gnomes' feeding habits can often be a boon to homeowners as they consume dust, cobwebs, 
and household pests such as spiders in large quantities. However, when frightened, they will violently expel their meals, which can send large quantities of dust particulates into the air, causing air quality issues in the household. They're very easily frightened. Solution. To remove an attic gnome from the household, it is recommended to dust and clean your attics and ceilings regularly as to avoid giving it a food source. This will also prevent other attic gnomes from nesting in your home. <laughs> Cellar grotto. Cellar grottos are large cave-like networks known to sometimes appear spontaneously in cellars and basements. Homeowners with cellar grottos often report bad smell coming from the basement, higher humidity in the home, and a notable increase in large beetles, frogs, and related pests. Cellar grottos can introduce a number of dangerous pests into the home, and the heightened humidity they introduce can cause warped floorboards, weakened foundations, and other hazards. Cellar grottos can be removed by finding their creator and presenting them with a gift of gold. <laughs> their creator often resides somewhere within the grotto's subterranean lake. For safety, bring spelunking and snorkeling equipment for your excursion. Consider utilizing HSH's grotto removal team. That's amazing. Someone just said that's just a rainforest cafe. A wizard has cursed my basement. Now there is a grotto. Please remove this... I love that false beat. Um, there's just so much to read, chat. I almost want to space them out, but I know at some point the system's going to go down. I don't think it would go down with a new entry, though. Um, for this dude, I'm going to say probably like... It will. Uh, Vinny, it's the beat. Okay, false beets are harmless unless eaten by a human, at which point they will take root in the human stomach, feeding off its nutrients for its lifetime. This can cause digestive issues and potential back problems over the course of a human's life. False beets only find themselves in gardens that grow beets. If you do not wish to contend with false beets, it is, it is advised to avoid growing beets. A swallowed false beet cannot be removed without killing its host. Shit. We only eat fresh, homegrown fruits and vegetables. I think the fucking the pipe stuff is a red herring. All right, rip. Congratulations, you are now living for you and a false beat. That's just your life now. What is the horde? I see the horde. Hello? I followed every instruction your people oh, sent fuck. me, but I'm still getting cracks on my wall. Uh, my daughter is called pest control. And she told me not to call you anymore for help. I'm sorry. Bye. Oops. Probably termites or something. This is the horde. The horde is an invisible, odorless collective consciousness that is known to collect and store large quantities of common household refuse. The horde's tendency to store vast quantities of trash in it, the home make them prone to spreading disease into the home's inhabitants. Rotten food, used syringes, and rusty metal are among the more common household hazards that can be introduced by the Horde's presence. The police told me to call this number, so I, uh, hope I got the right number here. Anyway, uh, I think... I think somebody is stalking me. I can see their shadow at night at my window, just staring into the house. 
When I close the window, I can still hear him out there, breathing. I've been sleeping on the couch every night this past week, just so he won't see me. The police said they can't do anything, so please, send somebody or do something about this. I can hardly sleep anymore. Please hold. So, yeah, what could that be? Let's read a couple more. Travel gnome. Travel gnomes are highly invasive subspecies of gnome that are known to stow away inside the luggage of unsuspected, unsuspecting travelers to introduce themselves to new households. They are found most commonly in highly forested areas of the globe. Travel gnomes can affect the household in various ways. They will often create expansive gardens inside their new homes, leaving soil, plants, and common outdoor pests in their wake. These gardens, in addition to introducing a variety of dangerous pests, can also create foundational problems at home if they continue to grow unabated. One can invite others to stay in their household, create new opportunities for the travel gnome to stow away in a visitor's luggage. Wow. Seedling. Seedlings are small insectoid creatures about the size of an aphid. They're known for burrowing in outdoor planters or gardens, feeding off the roots of nearby weeds. Though their weed-killing lifestyles can make them useful for gardeners, seedlings are extremely territorial and react violently to anything competing for their food source. Never remove a weed from a seedling-infested garden. They're known to compel competitors to commit violent acts on themselves or others. Holy shit. To remove seedlings from a garden, one should not go near their established feeding grounds. Instead, one should use a hose, sprinklers, or similar range devices to overwater and drown out the seedlings from afar. Uh, what do you think Granny Cream is dealing with right now, chat? A night gnome? Night gnomes are small, hairy creatures with pointed head. They are known for their tendency to enter a sleeping quarters of humans and watch them while they sleep. Homeowners affected by night gnomes frequently report sighting them in the middle of the night or report heavy breathing sounds during late hours. Night gnomes are not known to be deadly to humans, but those who suffer from heart conditions should consider wearing a sleeping mask to prevent being startled by their presence. Night gnomes will move on to the other homes if they become bored or restless by your inhabitants' sleeping activities. There's no guarantee, however, that they will become bored by you if they find your sleep sufficiently entertaining. I mean, that sounds like exactly that. It's a little weird. It's a little kind of fucking weird, Luigi. No, Mario, I, I like I like to watch Granny Cream sleep. I, I find her sleeping very entertaining. I can see her dreams and her creams. Luigi, what did you just fucking say? I said I can see her dreams and creams. I know what you said, Luigi. Why'd you say it? <laughs> Yes, I believe there may be some kind of problem with our home ventilation. Lately, we've been hearing awful banging noises coming from the ceiling, and the air quality seems to have been drastically reduced. My daughter hasn't been able to stop coughing. Hmm. Banging noises coming from the ceiling, air quality is reduced. Okay. A surplus of dust coming out of their ventilation systems. And of course, there's sound from the ceiling. So that's Attic Gnome. It's classic.
What's going on? Let's, let's do this. I'm sorry, but your son Jerma has been taken by a false artifact. Well, we'll we'll get you a memory wisp right after we please hold. We we take care of that false artifact. They make gentle buzzing sounds. Um, yep, yep, yep. Significant risk to small human children. They are encased within. I believe that to be the case. And he heard buzzing, so he thought it was bees. Sorry, Germa. Fay Feast. Feasts are mid to large sized piles of various edible food substances, frequently including flour, cornmeal, and various species of fungi. They're known to appear near eating areas in the home. Feasts are not dangerous if consumed, but left untouched, they can provoke more dangerous activity or else its continued presence can attract other household pests, such as cockroaches or carpenter ants. Solution. Feasts are a sign of hospitable presence, and as such should be consumed immediately once sighted to prevent provoking or offending the gifter. <laughs> For maximum assured safety, all members of the home should partake in the feast. All right, I mean, it's just, Flour and cornmeal and shit? All right. Delicious. Fay flu. Oh. Fay flu is a rare and dangerous disease commonly spread by household fay. Symptoms of fay flu include headaches, fever, eye discoloration, seeds taking root in skin pores, and blooming. Fay flu is rarely fatal, but it can have long-lasting effects on the lifetime health of an infected human. Long-term effects uh, symptoms commonly include dizziness, fatigue, monocolored vision, deliriousness, and endless dreams. Endless dreams, huh? There is no cure for fey flu. However, one can take precautions against it by keeping a clean, fey-free home. Interesting. Anyway, unfortunately for you, false artifact has your child. Uh, we'll get you a memory wisp. We'll knock that right out of you. Uh, take care. Well, I'll tell you what, we can't get you a new child, but we can get you a pet false rose bush. I mean, they make fun noises. Hi. I'm concerned somewhat about the stability of my new home. I recently finalized the purchase and naturally afterwards found that there are several large cracks in the walls of the basement that were not previously disclosed, as well as several pieces of half-eaten cheese littered across the basement floor? I haven't been able to get in contact with the previous owners about this, and I'm wondering if you can offer any kind of legal advice. Mm. Cheese to meet you. I was going to say it's, um... Maybe floor roots? Floor roots are tree-like brown roots that are known to grow upwards from the floor to wrap themselves around various objects or humans in their vicinity. Floor roots grow slow enough that they serve very little danger to awake and aware humans, adult humans. However, if not spotted quickly, they're known strangling hazard for human children and pets while they sleep. Removal should be a priority. Floor roots require something to wrap around before they will cease their growth. So it is advised to acquire dolls or similar human-shaped facsimile to give them a safer alternative. Place the dolls in the affected room and leave the roots alone for the night. By morning, the dolls and roots should be gone, and the room safe to inhabit once more. Make any repairs to the floor as needed, or utilize HSH's home repair services.
Large cracks in the walls of the basement. Several pieces of half-eaten cheese. Uh... Oh, this could have been missing. Well, no, the buzzing of the previous one. Um, do they like cheese? It is advised to leave out a slice of any kind of cheese. This one is a fracture hob. You got cheese and you got cracks. Sorry to tell you this, but uh, your home is uh, full of goblins. Could you imagine if that's what life actually was? Like all of these were things that you had to deal with. Just like various false artifacts and fucking weird goblin creatures. Thank you, Gub Rubber. We don't have the pepper squeeze, but we do have the orange drink. Please call back. I'll be sending, I'll be dispatching a squad of goblins to your home as we speak. Thank you. Uh-oh. What's that noise? You either have the Fey flu or diarrhea. Please hold. Well, shit. I can't check the entries. I don't know if there's any other stuff here that is specifically flu or some kind of sickness. Obviously, there's carbon monoxide and there's mold, but I think the pinkness and the headaches. Carbon mold monoxide, I believe, is what you have. He went to Magfest. Yeah, seriously. I'm convinced I got sick at MAGFest, came back to New York, and then got sick again in New York. I'm almost positive that's what happened. Because there's something RSV or some shit going around. Vinny, I saw that cool tweet interaction you had yesterday. I loved it. Thank you. It was really cool. Great name for a dog. 
please hold. We will be dispatching goblins to your home. Uh, well, shit. I don't know, chat. Vinny, will you be streaming tomorrow? I will be live tomorrow with Commercial Chaos as well as other fun Sunday stream materials. Night wisps are a subspecies of wisp in the form of bright floating lights. They are known to hover outside windows at night while whispering promises of wealth and good fortune. Night wisps are not dangerous to humans unless, unless listened to. Refrain from listening to their whispers and following their directions. Night wisps, wisps will move on to other homes after a week, so if they are ignored consistently, a week or so if they are ignored consistently, it is advised to drown out their whispers with music or wear sleeping masks to prevent sleep disruption. Portal. Portals are door-shaped openings to an outdoor location other than the homeowners discovered most commonly in portal... There was a comma. Other than the homeowners. Discovered most commonly in basements or underground cellars. Homeowners with portals frequently report cold drafts, strange dreams, and strong desire to enter. <laughs> portals can induce a wide variety of dangerous elements to a home and should be dealt with as soon as they are discovered. They can additionally cause drafts and introduce heating problems to a home. Solution. Portals should be sealed shut with wooden planks, bricks, or other common building materials. The seal should be airtight as not to allow anything to come inside the home. It is advised to utilize HSH's home security services to ensure portals are sealed safely. Anyway, um, so, so there's holes, big wooden splinters, and there's a big gape in one in the kitchen, and Goblin is missing. They dig around or inside their home. They can lead to other household problems such as broken floorboards, uprooted plants, or waking up other things beneath the soil. That could be it, especially if the pet is missing. I mean, the, yeah, I mean, I don't know. How does it make the pet go missing? Floor roots? What what about um What the fuck was it called, chat? Hole equals way for a dog to run out. Yeah. What if it's cellar grotto? Well, this is um got a bad smell. And there's an increase in beetles, frogs, and related pests. I would imagine he would have said something about that. So, I mean, warped floor, floorboards, weakened foundations, and other hazards. I don't know why the dog would go in there. Travel gnome. Expansive gardens inside their new homes, leaving soil, plants, and common outdoor pests in their wake. These gardens, in, uh, in addition to introducing a variety of dangerous pests, can also create foundational problems. <sighs> ants? What does the dog have to do with carpenter ants, though? Hmm. I'm like 90% unicorn fungi because that includes pet and it includes digging holes and broken floorboards. Floor roots? We read this one. This one you need, it collects the, the children or the pets. Well, hang on a minute. Uh, this doesn't say that it creates holes. They're just on the floor.
Whistling fungus? No. So they grow through drywall gaps and cracks. It doesn't say anything about pets. I'm going unicorn fungus. That's the one that encompasses the most amount of his bullshit. Fire. All right. It's fire. You have a house fire. To explain what in the name of Christmas is happening to my living room. I'm back from vacation and the house is already turning into a disaster not 24 hours later. And my living room is absolutely covered in soil and plants. Looks like a gosh darn nursery in there. What is happening is the travel gnomes. Is That's travel gnomes. Please hold. I, I'm going to go ahead and say with full confidence, we just read that entry, so let's travel gnome. So all you have to do, invite a friend over, have them bring some kind of bag. I don't know, lie to them, say you're going to have a picnic, whatever. I don't know, anything. And then just give them the travel gnome. Here's what you're going to do. Walter, you're going to bring a bag of meth over to my home. You're going to let the travel gnome get high as fuck on the meth, and you're going to take him with you, and he's going to be your new helper. He's going to be your replacement for Jesse Pinkman. There's something... There's something in my basement. I don't know what it is. All I know is when I open my basement door, it smells like a damn sewer, and I can hear it making all kinds of horrible noises. We know what this is. It sounds like there might be a lot of water down there, too. I don't know what it might be doing down there, but I have a feeling it's causing a whole lot of damage. Please, send somebody to help with this. I can't deal with something like this. You got a cellar grotto. That's all I can tell you. There's a cellar grotto. Yeah, we know what that one is, too. We did it. Yeah, we're getting pretty good at this. I wonder how much of game is left. Do not come to the hole. The hole is breached. I'll repeat, the hole is breached. It's not safe here. I must find a new spot. It knows I'm here. It's normal. Employee 036, regarding your schedule this week, due to a shortage of available staff, we will need you to come into work this Saturday and Sunday. Okay? Thanks for being a team player. Rest assured, your additional labors will be recognized. Sincerely, Lumberg. Congratulations, employee. Your high accuracy rate has awarded you today's daily coupon. Today's daily coupon is for tamed river root. Plucked and tamed straight from the waters of the undersoil, this river root is as reliable as they come. Their gentle, high-frequency cries are guaranteed to keep your garden safe from all manner of pests and predators. Just don't forget to keep them, <laughs> keep them well watered and well, mon <coughs> well monitored. To receive your discount, simply type the following code during your online checkout. Root in for you. Keep up the great work, employee. Hey, you should have heard my coughing yesterday. It was way worse. Today, 
I'm like coughing once every like 45 minutes, once every hour. So this is actually an improvement. How much water are you drinking? A lot. Like an actual, like, very high amount of water. Hello. Supervisor Carol here. Thine accuracy continues to impress those of us above and below the soil. What? I have updated your permissions once more. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest soundly upon thee. Yeah, that's not cryptic and weird at all. That's that's actually totally fine. Animation? Animations are any miniature humanoid figures such as dolls, puppets, or marionettes that are capable of moving on their own. Homeowners with animations most commonly report hearing clattering noises at night, missing or stolen household objects. There were Satan worshippers in my shed. I think it might be my no-good teenager having joined up with one of those dungeon dragon cults they say these days because he's been gone for days now and the next thing you know i find a dang tree growing in my shed the tree is all covered in torn up fabric and some kind of black liquid classic satanistic ritual crap i assume but tell me what i can do to get these godless teens off my property oh shit um please hold it we'll find out that's definitely carbon monoxide um Animations are usually not directly dangerous to humans and will ignore them entirely as they go about their business, but their presence in a household may indicate the interest of other potentially dangerous parties. Most animations will depart or collapse on their own after completing their intended function. No further action is needed. If an animation persists for more than a few days in a single location, it may be a sign of more dangerous activity. Closet Labyrinth? Closet labyrinths are large, twisting networks of tunnels that are known to be occasionally uh, appear inside of the closets or wardrobes of wealthy homeowners left behind in homes once owned by the wealthy. Homeowners with a clo homeowners with closet labyrinths will often report missing clothes or the sounds of distant cries coming from their closet. Closet labyrinths are incredibly easy to get lost in by design, can prove especially hazardous to homeowners homeowners carrying. Valuable items such as gold, precious silk, or rare spices on their person. They are otherwise harmless to those who do not enter their domain. That's amazing. If a closet labyrinth is discovered, it is advised to lock or blockade the entrance to prevent accidental entry and diminish the lore of the labyrinth's hidden riches. <laughs> it is absolutely vital a closet labyrinth be removed from a home. There's a labyrinth removal team, too, that they have. That's cool. Satan worshippers, you say. What is it a trash gnome? Trash gnomes are a subspecies of gnome with thick brownish gray fur, frog-like eyes, and large gaping mouths. They are known to seek out trash receptacles and burrow inside them for both food and shelter. Homeowners with trash gnomes often report the smell of rotten eggs, finding large clumps of fur throughout the house, tipped garbage cans, and loud crunching sounds at night. Trash gnomes are highly territorial once homed. While their bite is not fatal, it can often lead to inconvenient and painful circumstances. I read that for a second in my head as circumcisions, <clears throat> such as the loss of a finger or nose while attempting to discard trash or remove a trash bag from the receptacle. They all are also capable of spreading deadly diseases to humans, such as rabies or tetanus. To prevent a, tra a trash gnome from homing inside your trash, it is recommended to not let trash in the home be idle for more than a day or two as their noses are highly sensitive to the smell. To remove a trash gnome permanently, it is highly advised to utilize HSH's pest removal surfaces. So, that doesn't help with um, the dying old boys in the shed. Tree is covered in torn up fabric, black liquid, sprig tree. Um, spring trees are rapidly growing tree-like organisms that take root in the human body 
They're known to cause structural damage to a home as they continue to grow, generally reaching their full size in a matter of days. They're known to be caused by the touch of a spriggan. Sprig trees are incredibly deadly to those infected and will result in death once they have reached a certain size. Anyone near a sprig tree while it is growing in an indoor location is also at risk of injury or death from the structural damage that will occur as it grows. There is no cure for the sprig tree. The infected individual should be quarantined while any others occupying the household should vacate the premises immediately. Do not touch the infected person or the black substance that leaks from them under any circumstances. Begin looking for a new home. Arrange any funeral service that is needed for the affected individual. Uh, <clears throat> the tree is all covered in torn up fabric, some kind of black liquid. They're eating her, and then they're going to eat me. Oh, my God. The fabric is what they were wearing when that tree fucking exploded out of them, I bet. Maybe. I think that's that's probably... It's been gone for days now. No, no good teenager having joined up one of those dungeon dragon cults. It's been gone for days. Been a dang tree growing in the shed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a sprig tree. <coughs> That's, excuse me, that's the noise you make when you're a sprig tree. You make that noise. <laughs> sprig vines are rapidly growing vines that are known to quickly consume a house that blocks off exits. They are often a sign of that a spriggan has been provoked. Sprig vines are not dangerous on their own, but can be cut through with common gardening tools. However, their tendencies to block exits can create struggles when needing to exit the house in a hurry such as in case of floods, fires, or spriggan in pursuit. Sprig vines will continue to grow so long as the spriggan that made them desires it. It is advised to vacate and rehome as soon as possible. I'm going to submit sprig tree. I'm sorry to say this, ma'am, but your, your son is now a tree. Uh, it is, yeah, but it, it's, uh, your son's dead. Basically, more or less. False flower. They're um, long, slender creatures that vaguely resemble common house plants. They're known to take root in indoor potted plants, disguising themselves among the flowers. Homeowners often report hearing faint singing. I called last week about some noises in my house, and after following the instructions you sent me, they still seem to be happening. I already told you guys what was happening, but uh, the short story is that every night I'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen. In the morning, I usually check the kitchen for any signs of droppings or whatever, but the place looks spotless. Can you please tell me what's actually happening so I can get some sleep? Hmm. Please hold it. Shit. Um, I don't know, chat. There's no droppings? What, you telling me Hobbs don't shit? It won't be any of the new ones. Hobbs clean up. You're clattering coming from the kitchen. Trash Gnome is, is new. Or wait, 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 wait. Yeah, isn't Trash Gnome new as of now? Trash Gnomes make a mess, though. Uh, yeah, but the, any of the new entries, I'm not so sure about. Maybe is it is it a sequel? Like, could it be? Let 
I don't know. Animation. Clattering noises at night. So animations have clattering noises at night. But um, this is specifically coming from kitchen. Uh, common hob. They clean dishes. They're known for consuming dust, dirt, and common sticky substances found on floors and dishes, cleaning them in the process. They generally only come out at night. I feel like it's common hob. Sounds like they're making some noises. <clears throat> it sounds reasonable. Not kitchen hob. There is no kitchen hob. Isn't there a kitchen one? Uh, no. There's fracture. There's pipe. There's toilet. Plop. You have a common hob. Buy a gun. Speaking of buying a gun, did you see that there's a gun fidget toy that's like just a green 1911? It's like being sold as a fidget toy and like you shoot it and the bullet casings just fly out. Someone said, I have the red one. Oh, okay. I don't know. I just saw a picture. I'm like, this is a fidget toy? All right. Weird. Yes, hi. I recently purchased from your company one of your home security installation services. And not a week later, I'm still getting break-ins. As I mentioned prior... Someone has been breaking into the greenhouse and taunting us with their singing. They could be some insane serial killer, for all we know. Mm. All they do is sing at night, but no one in my family feels safe anymore. None of your stupid security alarms even went off. Please. Oh. Okay, um, maybe it's those little... Let's see the false flower again. Chat saying false flower. Homeowners report hearing faint singing. If homeowners attempt to disrupt or remove them, they will lash out by spraying a toxic chemical known to cause blindness or loss of sight. False flowers are not to be disturbed once they've taken root. Water regularly and try not to notice their presence. That's weird. Is that a false flower singing? I'm going to submit false flower as the answer. Whispering fungus is just like a weird dissonant noise. It's not specifically singing. Dreamweaver. Large spider-like creatures known to weave dreams into reality. They are also known to cause nearby humans to only dream about everything being covered in webs. They will only move into a household if no other spiders are present. They're parasitic in nature, feed off dreams. It doesn't cause harm, but it can lead to anxiety. And large webs can trap dust, pets, and children. Hey, 
Who, who are you? How did you get in? Hey, now, now easy there. Get away. Get away. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Bogart stickied on him. Oh, st <laughs> yeah, he might have gotten Bogarted. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to tell you, man. You're just going to have to deal with that. I got nothing for you. No advice. No help. Hello. Supervisor Carol here. I noticed that you've been experiencing regular disruptive calls from a false caller with ulterior motives. I've seen to it that this false caller shall no longer be a blight upon me. Keep up the good work, employee. <laughs> uh, great. Thank you. That was, yep, that was Carol that took care of that. That's cool. Thanks, Carol. Knew I could count on you. Cobald. Cobalds are five foot tall humanoid creatures with dog like faces that are. There's, there's some kind of insect in my house, and I, I think it may have died. Uh, I saw this big, nasty thing fly in through the window, and I haven't been able to find it anywhere, but I, I think maybe it electrocuted itself somewhere because I can smell this. Awful burning scent throughout the house. Can someone come find this thing and get it out of my house? Hmm. Please hold. I'm not sure. Um, just a house fire? Maybe a lamp sprite, yeah. So, dog like faces that are known to burrow into dark rooms or storage closets to make them their home. Homeowners infested with cobalt will sometimes report broken, broken floorboards like Harrison Ford. Cobalds are harmless to humans until they are discovered, at which point they will often lash out violently to protect their home, causing injury or even death. If discovered, cobalds will attempt to lure humans <coughs> <coughs> into their space by poking their dog-like heads out from behind corners and whimpering. Do not ever enter a cobalt's domain. One should not attempt to remove a cobalt from their home. It is advised strongly to hire professionals. All right, so could that be... Um... House fuck. Ah, shit. Okay, um, nasty thing flying through the window and electrocuted itself. I smell the awful scent. Uh, I'm going to say Lamp Sprite. That's the, yeah. That's the one that makes the most amount of sense based on remembering the entry. It's probably a house fly and he's overreacting. Re Could just be a bat. It's like... So a moth walks into a podiatrist's office and says, Doc, Doc, I'm really going through it. My son, Gregor Ilevitovich. Well, he doesn't love me anymore, Doc. It, it took my daughter. It took my daughter. She, she's gone. It wrapped its awful tendrils around her and took her down with it. I saw it with my own eyes. Please, send help. The police won't do anything. Send help. Please hold. Floor roots, probably. Yeah, that's got to be floor roots. It's Nero. <laughs> Caller, I will be sending you 
some help with your floor roots, and also a complimentary memory wisp. Aren't roots slow though? It moved quickly. Hmm. I don't know. It, 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 it stole me. It stole me. I'm. I'm not me anymore. I'm. It, he, 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 he took me. He took me. I can't see myself anymore. I'm gone. Help me. Help get me <clears> back, <throat> please. Possible mirror nymph. Please hold. Yeah, her picture is fucked up too. Um, they steal the likeness of homeowners and passerbys, passersby. They're small, faceless, and voiceless humanoids carrying a large mirror. Yeah, they can't recognize their own face. Affected homeowners can restore their likeness by catching the mirror nymph and breaking its mirror with an iron implement. Let's grab a hammer. Just hit it in the face with a hammer. Just, yeah, do that. You know what? Fuck it. You get a free memory wisp too. Why not? Skilly shoe, skilly shoe. This game has a skilly shoe. Rain nymph. Rain nymphs are subspecies of nymph that are most active during rainstorms. They are faint humanoids with glow in their eyes that often appear near windows and doors, asking to be let inside. Homeowners affected, afflicted with the rain nymphs often report flooding. <clears throat> I have children in this house, and this is a very serious hazard to their health. And it's the horde! Yes, I already called the police, and they told me to call this number instead. So, I assume that you will send over the proper authorities to deal with this matter promptly. Please hold. The floods rain nymphs cause can lead to water damage, which can be both costly and dangerous to a home. Rain nymphs are very preventable in that their pleas to be let inside can simply be ignored. It is advised to stay away from doors and windows during rainstorms to avoid having to endure a rain nymph's various temptations and threats. Soap Sprite Soap Sprites are a subspecies of Sprite that are known for consuming bacteria and harmful microbes. They are frequently occupied bathrooms, appearing similar to pink bars of soap, in order to feed the hands that use them. Oh, in order to feed off the hands that use them, they secrete a suds-like substance that is used to digest their meals. Soap sprites, despite their bacteria-eating lifestyle, are frequently known to spread deadly diseases such as the fey flu to humans who handle them, making them a serious household hazard. Soap sprites are easy to remove and dispose of by way of tongs or other grabbing utensils. Identifying soap sprites can be difficult, so it is recommended to not keep any bars of soap in the household to ensure they can be identified and removed as soon as possible. Anyway, it's the horde, because um, that was the one that leaves trash and metal shit behind. <clears throat> trash. Rotten food used syringes, rusty metal. Yep. Is that annoying? That actually said, no, that's, that's a shaker. That's not a beard scratch. Yeah, is there some kind of home security camera I can 
purchase from you guys. For the last few nights, we haven't gotten any sleep thanks to some punks outside with flashlights or something. Someone keeps flashing these bright lights through our windows at night, but I haven't been able to see who's doing it. I want to catch them on camera so I can finally bust these stupid teens for all they're worth. Mm, punks outside with flashlights. Please hold it. Um, it's carbon monoxide. It sounds like a wisp. Uh, or a sprite or something. Well, mm. night wisp. Oh, yeah. Let's see. They hover outside windows at night. That's pretty much all you need to know here. Will oh the wisp. No whispering? Well, fuck them. I think I got that right. Hey, uh, so I think I found some kind of door. Labyrinth? I know, like maybe I should step through it. Closet labyrinth. Yeah. <clears throat> or a portal. I think I need to go inside. The wind feels so nice. Please hold it. Strong desire to enter. Yeah. Yeah, it's the portal. By now, she's already probably in the portal. She lives in Narnia now. It's fine. Maybe it's better there. This might, like, sound strange, but I think there's some kind of, like, squid or something in my bathroom. Like, I went into the bathroom in the middle of the night last night, you know? And okay. I could see something slithering under, near the sink with its, like, uh, little tentacles or, like, tendrils or, you know, whatever. But when I turn on the light... Best voice acting in the game so far. <laughs> Tentacles. Too freaking big to have gone down the drain. Still gotta be hiding in here. Uh, the night. Is it? Is, it could it be soap sprite? I mean, I don't know if they have tendrils. They secrete suds like substance. I see some. There's there's a little bit of small tentacles there. Little tentacles. Uh, large, yeah. I don't know. What else could it be, chat? It's in a house. It's definitely carbon monoxide. The mention of soap is a red herring. It could be. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. There, there's nothing else here that I can recall that had tentacles. I mean, vines? Could it be a toilet hob?
type growth. They attempt to eat anything that comes inside their domain. Do not reach into an active pipe growth. They don't come out of there. The most I can see is um, soap. Fucking soap on a rope, Gord! I just, yeah, soap sprite, possibly. Dev wants you to overthink it's soap sprite. Either we're underthinking or overthinking. Too freaking big to have gone down the drain. Uh, one should garnish the inside of the replacement home with an assortment of meat juices. Place the replacement home near one of the pipe's openings and leave it overnight. Oh yeah, just get a whole replacement home. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't see tentacles, chat. This is the closest I see to tentacles. Vinny, it's a gnome. Vinny, it's home as a pipe. Dog is gnome. It's got to be a gnome. It's got to be a gnome. I don't think there's a bathroom gnome, specifically. It's lead poisoning. Yeah, it's from a Stanley Cup. Which I just thought that that was the reward for doing well at hockey. Then I find out it's this, like, false scarcity thing. I don't know why people are losing their shit over it. It's a fucking thermos. It's just a thermos that people seem to want to get because it's the thing to get. And now there's lead in them that people are saying if it's like damaged, that lead will seep into the liquid. Like, are we, are we going to be okay, chat, as a species? <laughs> I know, we'll be, I think we'll be fine once the aliens come down and they come I'm going soap sprite because I got nothing else shit I don't know could it be soap sprite has no tendril it's got some little tendrils here they're tiny <clears throat> <clears throat> I see tiny tendrils. I don't know if that's it. Toilet hob could be mistaken for wispy hair, which if you're a stone teenager could be. Two separate clumps of wispy hair on each side. Soap does not move. Pipe hob. They're very small. Slithering under or near the sink. Soap sprites. Soaps are too big to go into the drain unless used a lot. Stop overthinking. This, this might like sound strange, but I think there's some kind of like 
squid or something in my bathroom. Like, I went into the bathroom in the middle of the night last night, you know, and I could see something slithering under near the sink with its, like, uh, little tentacles or, like, tendrils or, you know, whatever. Little but tentacles. When I turned on the lights, nothing was there. <laughs> I checked under the towel, like... Whatever. Guess we'll find out. Oh, that was the last one. We'll see, chat. We'll see. Give it a day or two. Pipe Hob literally slithers around the sink. Do you think the tentacles were the red herring? Thunder Peak is one of America's most dangerous yet rewarding hiking locations. In this guide, we'll show you how you can be best prepared for one of nature's most beautiful trails. As with any hiking trail, you'll want to ensure that you can prepare with some layers to help you meet the demanded physical trials of here. Make sure to bring hiking boots. Water bottle. Iron sword. climbing glues if you don't have access to all these materials be sure to consult one of the Thunder Peak Park Guide to Fort and Barney The Trail Thunder Peak is a straightforward but steep trail consisting mostly of switchbacks leading through a natural cave, finally a short climb up to its pristine peak. Pace yourself as you progress. This both conserves energy, helps you appreciate the scenery around you. Be sure to stop and read the info sounds littered around the trail. When you see red and yellow lounge, it means you are in a high rockfall area. Travel with caution. Once you've entered the quiet zone, remain completely silent. As you approach the cave entrance, remove your hiking boot. Enter the cave. When inside the cave, move carefully and quietly. Do not stop. Follow the lights. Do not stray. If you hear this sound, stay still. 
and unsheathe your sword. Once you exit the cave, put on your boots, gloves for the final pair to the perk. Now you made it. Enjoy the view. That's a good clown. Well, that was that was nice. Oh uh, well, this dude is no longer around. The uh, yeah, it's no longer active. Congratulations, employee! Your high accuracy rate awarded you today's daily coupon. Today's daily coupon is for Hag Hide. Sourced cruelty-free from the perished. Treated like with our own flower-scented formula. These are the best quality hag hides you'll find. This month only, we'll even throw in an iron wall mount free of charge. Let the whispers keep your bed the safe haven it should be. Sleep easier. Sleep safer. Looks like a Troll 2 goblin. <laughs> There's a person on the wallpaper. I missed it. I didn't even see it. <clears throat> Hag hired for when you need to clear them. Well, here we go. Park employee, lend thine ear once more. Supervisor Carol here again. I've updated thy permission to grant thee access to all relevant household hazard information. Continue thy labors, employee. Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy body. No pretense whatsoever. Now, now it's all thine thou thus. We have every entry, by the way. Autumn vines. Autumn vines are vines with orange on or red leaves that are known to slowly grow over a house, frequently occurring during the fall. Homeowners with autumn vines are report often report feeling dizzy, lightheaded, or blissful. Some kind of animal has gotten into my cellar. I know it's down there because I can hear it flapping around sometimes when the house is quiet. Tell me... What to do to get rid of this thing? Because I think it's getting into all my Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays. I found a whole bunch of broken bottles on the floor. Stupid <sighs> thing is probably getting loaded. It's just a bat. I think it's just a bat. Please hold it. Oh no, I think I know what it is. The pheromones autumn vines release into the air. While not toxic, can be, often cause household accidents thanks to their blissful, dizzying effects. To remove autumn vines from a household, locate where the initial growth is coming from by inspecting the soil around the home for an extended red parent vine. Pull this vine out of the roots and burn it. Prevent autumn vine growth by making regular offerings of insects or meat substances to the ones beneath the soil. Bed hag. Bed hags are large humanoid creatures with an elderly woman like appearance. They are known to dwell beneath beds, hammocks, and other suspended sleeping apparatus. Homeowners infested with bed hags will sometimes report croaking or wheezing sounds at night or the feeling of a heavy weight on their chest at night. Bed hags are not dangerous to most healthy human adults. But small children and humans suffering from breathing problems such as asthma may be adversely affected by their presence. Bed hags are known to steal their breath, the breath of their sleeping subjects at night, causing a shortness of breath 
sometimes sleep paralysis. Bed hags can, in fact, be beneficial to a home, as their presence can frighten off other pests, such as various insects or mice. In the cases where a bed hag is undesirable, it is advised to utilize HSH's pest removal services. Um... There's a couple more. There's Leprechaun, Neighbor's Doorway, Puka, Reanimation, and Spriggan, Troll, Warlock, Remnant. Well, let's start with the Wine Sprite. Wine Sprites are a subspecies of Sprite. They consume wine. Um, it seems pretty clear that this is what's going on here. Broken glasses. Yeah, wine sprite. Flapping might be the... Um, it could be obvious. It could be a little too obvious. But broken glasses and wine. I mean, otherwise it's what? Just a bat? They, they have wings, so they flap. Warlock remnant. Warlock remnants are resident... Hmm. Please hold. Could be wood secretions. Um, warlock remnants or a residual presence often left behind by former warlocks. Warlocks are just real in this universe. Most commonly inhabiting older households, castles, or underground dwellings, homeowners experiencing warlock remnants often report objects moving on their own, the sound of hostile warning whispers, or sighting bearded figures in reflective surfaces. Danger! Warlock remnants, while a hostile presence, are mere echoes of their former selves, are generally harmless. Their ability to manip manipulate small household objects can prove hazardous to less cautious homeowners, however. Fun fact, this image was one of the devs in a Halloween costume. Oh. I like it. Homeowners can purge the remnant from their home with the use of a Sealy Stone. But the journey to retrieve one is both long and perilous and not recommended. If a warlock remnant proves sufficiently hazardous or inconvenient, it's highly recommended for the homeowners to simply relocate. Troll. Trolls are giant, 12-foot-tall nocturnal creatures that normally are not seen in the home. However, during the winter, they will deflate their bodies in order to fit inside homes and steal warm materials such as blankets or articles of clothing. Homeowners infested with a troll will frequently report missing clothes or claim to hear the shrill sounds of air escaping in the middle of the night. Trolls are very dangerous to humans when they are startled thanks to their ability to inflate their bodies to the full height of 12 feet in a matter of seconds. Their skin, despite its flexibility, is incredibly durable and will smash through the ceilings of most homes when fully inflated, causing property damage and injury to anyone in the vicinity. Do not ever approach a troll. An active troll will leave by morning once it has secured its bounty. It is recommended to install repelling fixtures such as UV lights to prevent future break-ins. Um, anyway, we have wood secretions, possibly. Something is leaking out of it. Drips from wooden materials. It's a sticky pooling buildup. Odor will be interpreted as sweet candy-like smell. The kids are curious about the smell. Play the troll audio.
All right, Rich Evans, we're going to find out. Oh, wait, what's that? Carbon monoxide? Yep. Please hold. Could be a Spriggan. Spriggans are small green humanoids with leaf-like coatings on their bodies. They are rarely seen in households and reside primarily inside trees. They're known to act violently upon homeowners when provoked, however. Homeowners affected by Spriggans commonly report rapid vine growth in and around their homes and the feeling that the trees are watching them. Spriggans are incredibly dangerous to humans when provoked and physical contact with one will result in the growth of a sprig tree within the affected individual. Spriggans cannot be persuaded to leave the home once provoked. However, one can take precautions to prevent provoking a spriggan. Refrain from removing trees, flowers, or weeds on your property. Do not ever kill or hunt wildlife within view of your home. Do not eat any wild fruit or vegetable that may grow on your property. Consider making offers of water each night, left in a clean dish on your porch. Yep. Spriggan. Water. Leave water out in the bowl in the middle of the night. It seems like a good chunk of these. There's not anything that you can do other than just move. Reanimation. There are any deceased remains of living creatures capable of moving on their own. My brother told me to call this number, but I don't know why. Things have never been better around here. My brother says he doesn't like the way the leaves move. The way they grow around the house like a warm embrace. Things are good here, brother. Things are good. Would you tell my brother that things are good? Could be autumn vines. Yeah, we were just reading about those. Please hold. Reanimations are any deceased remains of living creatures capable of moving on their own. Homeowners with reanimations commonly report foul smells, soil being tracked inside the home, and large holes in the ground appearing near or around the home. Reanimations are capable of spreading a wide variety of dangerous diseases and parasites deadly to humans. So close proximity or contact should be avoided at all costs. They're also commonly used to inflict direct violence against homeowners and are incredibly adept at hiding. And waiting for vulnerable moments. Reanimation's pursuit is slow but relentless, so relocation is not necessary or advisable. It is advised to contact any friends, neighbors, or strangers the homeowner may have recently cited and make peace or bargain. Puka. <laughs> Pukas are shapeless creatures that commonly inhabit homes in the shape and likeness of household pet. They are known for their tendency to replace common pets such as dogs or cats and live in their place to watch homeowners eat and sleep. Homeowners with pukas frequently report unusual or frightening pet behavior. Pukas are rev relatively harmless to humans, but the discarded bodies of household pets they leave behind can over time create other pest and disease hazards within the home. A foul smell signifies decay, and the discarded body should be found and removed immediately. Pukas can be encouraged to leave a home by not drawing attention to their activities. Pukas thrive on the attention they receive from frightened homeowners. So refrain from screaming or yelling when surprised by them. Make attempts to ignore their presence whenever possible. Nice life, by the way. Like, really cool life that one must live. Neighbor's doorway... Doorways are doorway... F door, sorry. Neighbor's doorways are door frame like structures that can often appear in basements or cellars. They are known to cause confusion if stepped through, as well as parallelism. Neighbors' doorways do not cause any direct harm to humans, but if stepped through, the resulting parallelism will often result in unwanted household activity, such as altered behavior or perceived missing memories in the human who comes through the other side. Neighbors' doorways are tricky to remove without accidentally pushing, putting one's body through them and potentially triggering, triggering the parallel activity. It is advised to use the HSH's doorway removal services, one can prevent neighbors' doorways from occurring by practicing mindfulness and not letting one's mind wander towards wishing for alternate life paths. So yeah, this has got to be uh, blissful. Toxic 
blissful effect. Having a child or pet in this world is highly inadvisable. Just living, just like living is inadvisable. The, like, seriously, look at the amount of crap that just commonly occurs in people's homes. Fuck that. Check the troll audio. Let it play in full. People are saying it's farting. Maybe. How I got here? I'm. I, I'm not where I should be. Please, I was told that you could help me. Neighbor's doorway. My family. They aren't my family. I, I don't know what's happened. Uh, please tell me how to get back to my family. Please hold. Confusion. Missing memories. Could be a memory wisp too, but I feel like that, that makes more sense. Leprechaun. Look at that little fella. There's small humanoids covered in long brown hair that are known for consuming common household valuables such as jewelry, silverware, or other precious metals. They cause long-term long damage to heaters and such because of their metal fetish. Hi. Yeah, there's this awful smell of rotten eggs coming from my dining room. And when I looked to see what it was, I saw this awful, disgusting pile of crap on my dinner table. Eat it. It's quite big. Too. You have to, you have to eat it. It's the, that big. it's the fecal feast. You have to eat it. Please hold. Yeah, it's the fey feast. No, it's just a pile, a disgusting pile of stuff. It's fine. It's edible. It's not fey feast. Eh. It's an actual pile of, of shit. Is there anything else here that has, like, that leaves a shit on your... Huh. Trash gnomes. Smell of rotten eggs. Large clumps of fur. Tipped garbage cans. Loud crunching sounds. Um, well, this is rotten eggs, but this is not a bunch of... Excuse me, a bunch of stuff on a table. I'm going to say it's a, um, it's Fey Feast. The only thing that, yeah, I mean, it, it, we don't know if it smells like crap. It looks like crap. Dream? Maybe it's like a. Please hold. Could just be bed bugs. <laughs> um, that would be kind of funny if this far in the game it's just randomly bed bugs. Itchy kids with nightmares. It's either that or like maybe a dream weaver. I think it's just bed bugs. If bed bugs existed, that would suck. I agree.
They mentioned they have a resistance to pesticides. Quite difficult to they they yeah, there's a resistance to a majority of common pesticides. What's a Dorcha? Dorcha is the one who delivers. Homeowners experiencing Dorcha commonly report feelings of dorselessness. No, of immense dread and the sensation of being followed or pursued. They may also experience visions of great lurking shadow. Dorcha will deliver that which it seeks. There is no coming back from deliverance. Dorcha is otherwise harmless to humans. It does not seek. To be sought by a Dorcha is to be found by a Dorcha. If you or a loved one is sought by a Dorcha, it is advised to grieve and find peace through acceptance. Uh, you, you can get a free memory wisp on that one too. All right, your, your kids got bed bugs. Well, your beds have bed bugs and now your kids are bit by bed bugs. Try reading bed teeth again. That's fungus. Infection and open wounds. Mild discomfort. I mean, yeah, I mean, bed bugs or that. But bed bugs seem to, uh, they're specifically immune to pesticides. We've reached the point where the mundane is more shocking than the supernatural. What the hell is happening? I called last week to ask why my home heater has been having issues, and nothing's changed after following the instructions you sent me. Uh, be quiet. I know your teeth hurt. Leprechaun? Please say a leprechaun. So they occasionally um, braces and crowns. So that could be a problem for, you know, teeth hurting and uh, damage to heaters. Leprechaun. It was a baby. Ah, whatever. But we don't know. We don't know if it was a baby. Could have been first, second grader. I think some pranksters might be giving my wife and I a run for our money. <sighs> Lately, my wife's clothes have started going missing, and at night I keep hearing this strange, whoopee cushion type sound coming from outside. So uh, I tried to scare the kids off by keeping the deflating on at night and putting out a neighborhood watch sign, but. I, I think they're onto my tricks. Do you have any advice you can send me? Please hold. Do you hear farts? Warm material such as clothes. It's not really a fart chat. That's just, I think, the deflation. That's what farting is. I guess I, you would know, turd master chief. I used to be able to fart from my hands. I can't anymore, but I used to. Hello, I saw your commercial and I thought I would call just in case you might know what's going on. I was recently putting on my kettle for a bit of afternoon Earl Grey when I heard this awful buzzing sound coming from the cupboard. I looked around inside, but I couldn't find anything but a few loose tea leaves. I'm quite concerned about the hornets and the bees and the like because I'm I'm quite allergic to their stings, you know. So I just wanted to know if there's anything I should be worried about right now. 
My hearing isn't what it used to be, after all. Please hold. T Sprite. Wet hands make your farts easier. That's cool. Hi, we need some medical help. I'm not exactly sure what to say since I talked to our family practitioner already, but he said to call here, so we've been um, having some trouble sleeping. I thought it was just me, but both my husband and I started feeling shortness of breath around the same time. I'm worried about something spreading through our house since our kids all have asthma and some particularly severe allergies. Bed hag. We tried washing all the bed sheets in the house, but that didn't really help much. Check under the bed. The kids haven't had any issues yet, so could you help us out sooner rather than later? Just be sure to bring a shotgun. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, you got a bed hag, son. Network error still. You know what that means, right? You know who's under there? Granny Green. Stop posting about Granny Green. I those mushrooms are they harmonizing uh oh they might be harmonizing In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, rest the fuck in peace. Um, hello? Can you help me? There's this terrible smell in my house, and I can't figure out where on earth it's coming from. I think it's upsetting my puppy Meatball, too. He's really been acting up lately. I can hardly blame him. It, it smells so terribly rotten. Please, can you help? Uh. <clears throat> Please hold. Could it be a poo? Oh, shit. Oops. Yeah, I'm sorry to say this, but Meatball is actually a puka. And you have a dying, like, uh, de sorry, decaying corpse of your previous dog. Um, yeah. I'll get you a memory wisp. It'll it'll be free. On the house. Rip meatball. This game is pretty dark sometimes, huh? Yeah. That's why we all need a little granny cream in our lives. This whole industry is set up by big memory wisp. Well, not if we're giving them away for free. I think I'm gonna start charging for these. Hundred bucks per memory wisp. <laughs> He's still a mouse. I mean, that that seems like the end of the game for me. I, I feel like. I guess there could be another day, but... Oh, there is one more day. Okay. Here's the entry browser for, like, everything. Congratulations. Uh, you're currently... 
who are pleased with your labors are currently making all the necessary preparations for your impending dissension, assuming you pass the trial. The soil is fertile. Keep up the great work. Thanks for working through the weekend. And uh, Glamour Stone, whether you're simply too tired to concentrate or you just want to look your best without the stress, our Glamour Stones are here to put you at ease. With our patented protective seal, our Glamour Stones have a 99.9% .9 reliability rating. Oh. I missed the wallpaper again. Fuck. Chat was saying there's a person in the wallpaper. I missed it yet again. Cocking in. The trial hath begun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We are many, we are above, we are followers of our queen, what are we? Please hold. Your bees? Bees. Or is it ants? It's carbon monoxide. No, it, uh, be, bees? Bees are probably... We are above. They're above. There's many in there above. Bees. not living yet I clatter I'm small I am weak I serve my purpose then I die what am I the word animation uh, the word clatter I remember from animation so if chat's saying it I'm gonna go with it they're small Is this just all the ones that weren't used? Maybe. The beggar, I'm the encroacher of the dry, I'm the friend to the water of the sky. There's a rain nymph? Rain Nymph begs to come in. Okay. This is cool, by the way. This whole thing. I'm ready. of death, bringer of pestilence, I'm forever the nuisance. What am I? Um, could be just mice. Please hold. Oh, there's no rats, but could be just mice, because it specifically mentions plague. Someone just said, my wife. Flies also do that. Could be uh, cockroaches, too. Uh, bringer of pestilence. I don't know. Flies are definitely pestilence. Flies are harbingers. Flies Vinny, Beazelbub. Oh yeah, I love Beazelbub. You're probably right about that. Yeah, we're going to go for that. 
love Beelzebub. Seems like it was correct. Seek domains of those who have too much. Step within, they lose their way. What am I? Um, Please hold. What was the, the wealth? There was like a wealth thing. We wanted. Wait. Seek domains of those who have too much. Step within, they lose. Oh, the, the labyrinth. That Because that's in the wealthy homes. Closet labyrinth. And they lose their way, so yeah. Expand thy mind. We are companions of the gardens. We compel those who tread to tread no longer. What are we? Please hold. Uh, could be seedlings. I don't fully remember every little bit of dialogue or a bit of text. Um, Spriggan was already an answer elsewhere, so I, I'm less inclined to choose that. Seedlings have mind control. Spriggans were in trees. Seedling had something about self-harm. Compelled those to tread who tread to tread no longer. I'm going seedling. One of them is going to end up being warlock remnant, I feel. Let go thy stilted soul, thy crusty soul. I am the dancer, I am the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and reckless. I am the forsaken oil and the careless light. What am I? Uh. Please hold. I f um. Answer, bring up destroy. It's it's a house fire. Consume the weak and reckless. I am forsaken oil and careless light. Yeah, I mean house fire. Yeah, the fire. The flames are dancing. You often hear that. Finally, chat gets what they want with the house fires, I think. Oh, yeah. There it is. Descend. I mean, this game only could have ended this way. That's not true at all, actually. I don't know why I said that. I am the seeker. I am the one who delivers. Dorcha. Please hold. It's amazing how much of this I actually do remember. But I guess it's stuff that's actually kind of interesting. And I read it out loud. So, you know, if you just kind of pay a little bit of attention, it's not too bad. The writing is pretty good. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Supervisor Carol here. We've been watching you closely. For all this time, you have been providing excellent and accurate answers to our callers. 
These acts will not go unrewarded. And I'm pleased to report that you have qualified for a promotion. Please stand by while I prepare thy promotion. Promotion in progress. Please stand by. <laughs> Oh, hello. Be not afraid. Come close. Uh, are, is this is this okay? Are we sure about this? Are you a spriggan? She has the stone. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. Well, that's certainly a way to fucking end a game. <laughs> the music is amazing. Someone said, to be honest, I'm glad it didn't just have a cheap jump scare at the end. Thank God it didn't have a cheap jump scare. So many fucking games I play end with a jump scare. And then the, then the program closes. Which in 2010, when I saw that for the first time, I was like, yo. And now I see it once every two weeks. So, yeah, having like a, a funny little FMV and... Uh, a strange goblin song is fine by me. There's an art book. I mean, feel free to pause on any frame if you're watching this in the future. I'm tired. It's 1.30 a.m., so it's time for me to... Uh, get going but it's cool that there's all this information to give you an idea of how this was made and where it was inspired from The dev made a lot of analog horror vids on YouTube. So they dove into like Wikipedia, like folklore stuff and, and just made a bunch of stuff. Poses and stuff, uh, various photoshops. No one has found this brigand. The Bogart. <laughs> Trash gnome. There's an actual photograph. Edited a photograph of me wearing a Halloween mask from my childhood, along with a cheap vampire costume. <laughs> originally the game over ending was much simpler to the point carol firing the player but uh molded these props from air drying clay painted them on with acrylic paint 
I guess that's how you you die. You become a mouse in the bad ending. Okay. The promotion crown. Faye Carol's makeup. <laughs> I want to look like a proper swamp witch. Excellent work. There's uh, an options menu with some new options now. I think. Oh yeah, employment, unemployment immunity. Always display accuracy. Add button to skip call wait time. So there's just a couple things. So that was great. Um, I would really... This is a new update today. Wait, what? Really? Oh, yeah. January 26th. Well, not quite today, but like yesterday-ish. Um, that is a brand new series of options and some uh, bug fixes and shit. You missed most of the content because you barely failed any calls. You would say most. Like, actually, most of the content. Do you mean because they call you back? You could hear people's heads blowing up, apparently. Every call has a failure call. There's callbacks, alternate endings, and callbacks. No shit. If you fail calls, you get callbacks for everyone. Uh... I wouldn't say most, but it seems like, yeah, I, there's 16 minute video of all the failed calls. Well, there you go. Vinny, you only got like two calls wrong. Shocking. Well, I also had the power of chat as well. But yeah, all right, listen, that went longer than I expected, but it was worth it because it was a lot of fun. Weirdly, I'm going to remember these strange creatures probably for a, a little while at least. Uh, really unique game. Really good take on analog horror. Um, just well-written, fun game. Doesn't take itself too seriously. But engaging and good for an audience, too. I felt like we had a good time, like me streaming it, chat watching it. I felt like it was a perfect stream game. So, yeah, that was, that was great. I will eventually check out that Kenodo Pet game, but I want to do that pre-recorded for obvious reasons. And... Uh, I have a couple other weird Steam games that I'll get to. So I'm going to try to hopefully feel better. Uh, maybe by tomorrow I'll be feeling even better where I can sound a little more like myself and not a congested mess. That would be really great. So I hope you all have a good night. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. And uh, see you for Sunday stream. We'll do commercial chaos and various other whatever the fuck I have. It'll be fun. So, good night. Oh, and I appreciate everybody who has uh, contributed in some way to the stream, even if you've just watched. Um, those that have subbed, I know I don't call them out, but once in a while, I will just kind of give a blanket thank you statement. So, here it is. Thank you. Goodbye.